speed step. So this is a drill that we're really working footwork and foot speed and a little bit of understanding the athletic and body positioning. So I have myself a four inch ledge. I don't really want to get anything higher. We're working the speed, so we're not trying to work an eight or 12 inch box. And I want to see how fast I can go and how I can do that movement. So that movement starts with a good athletic position. That means our weight's got to be over our hips and our toes. We're on the balls of our feet. We're sunk down so we can load our glutes and our quads and everything is straight, right? Toes are pointed forward, knees are over toes, hips, good athletic position, everything's aligned. From there, what I'm just going to be working is stepping up and stepping down. So a one, two, one, two. It's not a switch. So we're not doing a switch. We're kind of like an ollie shuffle. We could do that, but I really like to work the foot speed and the speed step. So understand that you do this drill. If you do it like four sets, you'd step up left, right on one of them, and then right, left on the other ones. So where we start here, it, it, that athletic position, we understand our arms also are going to add a lot to this. They're going to tempo with our legs. So we're going to go as fast as we can with our feet, and our arms are just going to tempo being a, wh a whipping motion and they're gonna go probably a half speed tempo slower than our legs. It'd be almost impossible. We're gonna get here and it's not gonna be kind of functional. So it's like if we're doing a speed step in our, our footwork ladder, we're going as fast as we can, you'll slow your legs down if you try and tempo your arms. It's not like sprinting where we're going opposite arm. The faster our legs go, the faster they go. We just wanna understand that tempo. So as I stay over the top, I also gotta understand that my weight has to stay here. If I miss a spot and I take my weight back, I'm gonna push back and fall back. So I want to keep my weight over the top the whole time, and I'm just lifting my knee and coming back down in this motion here. I'm not ever moving my hips. So my hips are anteriorly rotated, so my weight's over the top. And then if I go slow here, just work in that motion. See the tempo? The faster I go, I'm just going to keep the same arm tempo, keep my weight over the top, and go as fast as I can. So if I go as fast as I can, you kind of get that rhythm, staying over the top, and you understand why you wouldn't want to go any higher. Simple drill but really good work on that body positioning, foot speed, and that footwork.